people really love to be Joseph. But a lot of people only aspire Joseph at their pinnacle for the ministry. They don't know that the trials that has gone through. What I feel led to share here is that there is the other side of Joseph about giving. Now, both of you are incredibly generous. I hear it from the Lord. When the Lord tells you to give, you will never say no. Even though at times it stretches your faith, and time and time again it actually stretches you, but you overcome it, and nobody outgive the Lord. Yeah. But on the Joseph side, there is another side to learn. Joseph did not open up the storehouse during the famine. So pause a while. This is a new season of a new paradigm that God wants you to have. So there are things where kingdom project the Lord, when the Lord say yes, of course the both of you, it definitely is 100% yes to the Lord. But there will be time you need to inquire of the Lord where certain ministry are in desperate financial difficulties. You need to ask the Lord, and some of these are your friends. So a certain testing will come here right now. And when the Lord say no, now that is not going to be easy for both of you. I know, that's why I need to pray for the grace. When the Lord say no, you have to say no. Because some of them, especially I feel that some of them in the ministry will come to you in the midst of the financial difficulties and say that, you know, I've ministered to you before, right? You know, or blah, blah, blah. And uh, now I just need help. But when the Lord say no, the Lord comes first. Because there, there is certain things that the Lord wanting to shift them. That crisis was allowed for a purpose. Habits that is so entrenched, mindset that is so entrenched cannot change unless it reaches a crisis. And that is why in that crisis where in the time of famine, that means the resources are scarce for them, did Joseph open up the storehouse and says, oh, I want to submit to you because the church has not teach that? you got to study that. And this is where the apostolic strength comes in. You've got to see the whole big picture. Don't sabotage what the Lord wants to do in their heart. Because it is only when they get it and they shift according to what the Lord wants, then the Lord restore them. So what I'm saying is that when the Lord say no, don't play the Messiah thing. You are not the Messiah. The Lord is a Messiah, but I feel that it's not going to be easy for you guys. Because some of them is going to be your friends. It's like, oh my God, and they can even begin to call you names. How can you call yourself even Christian? Now, I feel that the Lord said that will be your cross to carry. So later we need to pray for grace on that because and it's very... Wife, uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> My wife. Yeah. Your wife, though, is yeah. really spectacular for you. Yeah. We'll get to your wife yeah. later, so, by the way. I just uh, feel that uh, this is an area because you guys are incredibly generous. That is only one side of the coin. But this season, God is going to teach you when you are going to withhold that resources. Because there is a transformation, especially on ministry, there is a transformation that is coming within that four walls of the church. In the next 10 years, if Christ tarry, the face, the identity of the church is going to be radically changed. They're going to understand that it's not just about the salvation of the soul. It's about transforming nation. God is aftering nations. God wants nation as His inheritance. It's always in the heart of God. Even His name is called the desires of nations. So feel that God, you know, it's like, because you are so incredibly generous, the Lord says that, Study Joseph. Some of the thing when I say no, don't release it because there will be trouble. <laughs> you do because God comes to us. God really loves them, but God will have to shift them because certain mindset, certain habit, is so deeply entrenched that it needs to reform and transform. And it's only when they come to the terms of the law, then the law will speak to you to release it. So I, I feel that that's specifically on some ministry, you know, where especially those that build their own empire, I just feel that they are about to get into a famine. So again, they will come to Joseph because Joseph has storehouse, plenty. But I see you guys that, that you inquire of the Lord when the Lord say, no, ooh, the storehouse is shut. 
because there is a purpose for that. So don't release it before the hand. Then on the other hand, I see that actually there's a lot of fun that was actually releasing to Kingdom Projects. So I submit that to you. This the other side of Joseph, I feel that this is an area that is not easy. You need the grace of God. Probably your wife will be very complimentary and compensating you on that because they're going to tell you that how can you even call yourself? I feel that you will be called names, you know. How can you even call yourself Christian? Do you remember that the last time that I ministered to you? Oh man, that is your cross. That is your crucifixion, man. <laughs> no, Lord. <laughs> so I submit that to you. Uh, uh, we're going to do 